What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome to Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Now, this is a game that I've been playing for uh, a little while. We've been playing over on the uh, the Members Mondays video. So if you remember, you probably have seen um, a little bit of Definitely Not Fried Chicken. Well, anyways, they went 1.0 today. It's out of early access into the game, and I am so excited. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. I am having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, what is... Uh, definitely not fried chicken well it's a it's it's a tycoon game where you're definitely not selling fried chicken uh basically what we got oh they they did some they did some stuff here okay fantastic i turned this tutorial off because i played it a lot but now i'm thinking maybe that was a bad idea but anyways um so what we're gonna do is we need to go ahead and we got to find a few things here um let's see where is let's go to our factory area so this is our factory area and we need to go ahead and purchase a plot here so Let's see, we're going to purchase a laundromat. So there's different businesses you can run. There's a laundromat, donut shop, uh, chicken shop, lobster restaurant, nightclub, and casino. Now, depending on which one of these uh, items you purchase, this is the license saying that you can run this. Depends on what you can actually sell. So we're going to start with the laundromat. Laundromat's the easiest one. It's the most basic one. It's the one to get your money flowing. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to start with the laundromat. Um, but And we have $40,000 to do that. But let's go ahead and let's look at okay so we've got this is our main area um i want to see where okay so this is area of effect overlays okay so they did they changed some things around on me here a little bit uh so i'm trying to navigate all these okay but i need to look for the places for sale and uh, let's see okay so we've got this one this one we have all these spots right here and it'll tell you what you can have here okay so here's here's the scrap yard so this must be our first option right here okay cool so this one right here beach view properties five thousand and it wants to either be a donut shop or chicken shop so that's actually not gonna work um okay hold on a second so i need to find a spot that can be a laundromat that's what i really want so maybe right next to it let's see we have something across the road right here um what does this want to be chicken shop or a lobster shop you can see right there preferred businesses so that's not gonna work what about right in here uh this one wants to be a nightclub or a casino did they did they change i feel like they definitely ch may have changed how many laundromats you could have or something because like i feel like these used to be like my laundromats like my go-to um okay so here let's do this what about directly across the street from the scrapyard? What is this? See, that is, that's not it. So this one could be a laundromat. All right, so we could get off the, we could get off the ground with this little guy right here. It's only 3,000, we could get the laundromat business. Um, we'd also be right across the street from the scrapyard. And the reason that you want the scrapyard is we do research to the scrapyard. So uh, let's go ahead, let's purchase that spot. And then let's purchase our laundromat business. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna take this to the max. I wanna take that to level three because then we can have everything for it. Um, laundromats are cheap enough where you can probably get away with that. And then what I need to do is we need to go to, um, we need to go here. So this is this industrial district right here is where it's gonna be, like our, our warehouse is gonna be. So we need to go ahead and buy a spot of land so factory go to subplots panel okay so the first spot is free now the thing that you want is you want a spot well this is how it used to be i don't know if it's going to be any different but the thing that you want is you want a spot that has a road right here so like see how this spot is going like halfway over a road um i want this spot so that way i can have a garage door right here so let's go ahead and purchase that and then we will go ahead and purchase this one because I believe the first two are free. Okay, and then now it's 11,000 for the next one. Okay, so the reason we wanted to do that is now we need to do some building here. We got to do some building at our laundromat. We have $25,000 to do so. We're going to have um, employees, landscaping, all that fun stuff. But let's start off with... I guess we're going to start off by building our factory. So... We're going to need our garage. Now we only have mopeds right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, but once we get the ability to get the other things, it's gonna be fantastic. So let's see here, hold on. These should, if I'm not mistaken, fit in here perfectly. So we should be able to put four of these in here. 
so those are going to be our runners essentially those are going to be delivering the goods if you will and then from there oh let's see um okay so we have staff needs and then we have business needs so the first thing i want to do and we're gonna the the problem there's gonna be an issue and we're gonna have to deal with it <laughs> um at some point oh there's a corridor storeroom the problem is that we are in competition so we are going to get attacked so we do have some traps that we can lay down but unfortunately we don't have a lot so let's see here they definitely changed some things i'm trying to figure out how to actually build oh build right there okay so am i able to build a corridor Ooh, you know, I'm actually kind of curious because before you weren't able to build on this area right here. Did that actually let me build that? It doesn't look like it actually built anything. Hold on. Let's look, let's look at this. Um, I want a walls dynamic so I can see the walls that I've been placing. Okay. And then corridors. Let's go back to our factory. Build. Oh, it's not putting an actual corridor there. Yeah, so it's leaving that open. This side open right here, which is I didn't want to do that. I wanted to block this off. You know, actually, I'm kind of curious. I wonder if I got rid of one garage, had three, if I could actually build right up against the garage here. You know what? Let's let's try this. Oh, my gosh. I keep hold on demolish Um, garage. I want to demolish this one. OK, so I move. I, I got rid of that one. We're going to slide these over because I'm curious if I'm able to build. So if we go into the corridor here and we go to build, am I able? Oh my gosh, I am. Oh, that is huge. That is actually honestly huge. Okay, so that is really exciting. I never tried doing that before. I don't know why. Like, why did I not ever try doing that before? Okay, so now, hold on. Let me look at the walls up again. Walls up. <gasps> oh my gosh. That means they can't get in right here. Okay, so this is good because like I said, we do get attacked. And when we get attacked, they come in with like guns and everything. Like, they're they're going to level us out. Um, and we are going to get attacked fairly early. So I wanted to be kind of prepared for that. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. So what's nice is that what we can do is we can actually set up a, uh, we can actually set up some things here. So let's do, let's do this. So I want these guys. Well, you know what? Before we set up defenses, let's actually set up our, our shop here <laughs> before we get, because I only have so much money to do this and we also have to build a laundromat too. So uh, let's go ahead and get a storeroom build. Uh, we'll get the storeroom on this side. For now, we need a grow room and then we'll do, let's see, can we do a corridor? Oh, if we do a corridor right there, that's going to be, that's going to make this a corridor. Interesting. Okay. Hold on. If I go to demolish. Let's put the walls uh, dynamic again. Um, okay. Let me get this figured out. We have such a small area to work with. I haven't worked with this small of an area in a while. Okay. So we got our storeroom. We got, um, we got three storage deals right there. We got a packing station right there. That'll probably be good. Um, actually, in all honesty, I probably don't need the storm to be that big. And we only have, we have minimal space here. So let's actually go ahead and demolish that down like that. And we'll just throw a door in. I'm actually thinking about maybe throwing a door in the middle. Well, you know what? We'll just throw it on the side right here. That's fine. We'll throw it in right there and then we'll have a uh, let's get a corridor and we'll connect the corridor like that grab a door we'll go that there okay so that is our storeroom good to go now let's go into our grow room so obviously we need a couple of things here so um unfortunately we're not i don't think we're gonna be able to hit the three star stuff right away let's see let's do one two and three and then we're gonna need a drying rack all right, I'll put the drying racks there, and then we're also gonna need a cutting table, which we should be able to put right there. That'll work. Okay, so basically it grows, it dries, it gets cut, and then they're gonna take it over, package it up, and then it's gonna get sent out. Now, there is different um, conditions for these. So lighting, I don't know if we can do, do we have any, oh, we do have a light right now. 
so that's gonna give it three star ideal is 50 to 100 this is only at 40 okay so hold on if i move that there and move this here oh look at that three star three star three star it gives us three star and everything okay cool and then what we'll do is we'll set these up so that way they're only doing the the basic uh the basic leaf <laughs> if you will uh because we're not gonna be doing the toasty or the amazonian stuff for a little bit and actually we have a little bit of extra room right here that we probably don't need so uh but we also have like i said we also have staff needs so we have a break room a kitchen a toilet and a bedroom so we need to go ahead and get these all sorted and what might be the best way to do this see we have a lot of long areas right here oh you know what we could do this let's do this let's get a staff room we'll go to build and then we'll build a staff room out right there actually we'll build a staff room out one more and then let's do kitchen toilet and bedroom okay so kitchen toilet bedroom mm, we'll see if we can get everything in here i don't know that we're gonna be able to uh, but we're gonna need doors for everything and then we're actually going to move this door over by one so we can put a door here so then this is going to be like the break room area if you will so let's see provide some average entertainment uh let's see well, let's get a couch we got to get a red couch of course right absolutely so we got a red couch put that there throw the tv right here and then Let's go ahead and work on the kitchen. We're going to get the basic needs going here. So we're going to need a, I think if we have a refrigerator and a stove, that is like a huge win. Oh, we don't have a place for them to sit down to eat though. Oh, wow. We don't have a lot of room here, do we? You know what? Let's do this. Let's demolish that and let's turn that into the toilet. And then we'll turn this into the kitchen. And then we'll grab. Let's see. Let's grab this door. Well, hold on. We're going to need a door here, which means we're going to have to move this guy. And then we don't need that door. We can put that there. Okay. So that'll make your kitchen bigger. Uh, and then this will be our. Okay. Yeah, this will this will work. We're, we're, we're working here. We're doing the good things. So what we want is we want a cooker, a stove. <laughs> Put that there. The reason you want that is because if you have that in this, it gives people a place to make better food. Um, and then can I place this here? And then we can place a chopping board on top of that. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. And then we need a table. Okay, so we have a spot to cook. We have that. We have that. Do we have a sink? Okay, can we place the sink there? No! Hmm. We could get rid of this corridor back here. But my goal was to only move this stuff between here and here and not go into any of these other rooms, you know? We definitely need a sink, though. Okay, well, here. Let's, let's look on the toilet. This is the toilet area. Let's start with that. So, let's see. We got one toilet and a sink. Oh, we can't even get a shower in here right now or anything else. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on a second. Hmm. You know what? Let's see how big this break room actually has to be. Okay. So, I mean, I have the break room, like a couch, a TV and a trash can, like right here. <laughs> it's actually, I mean, it's not terrible. So what I could do is I could expand. It could expand a little bit more into the break room area. And then if we go into uh, the staff toilet again, we might be able to throw a shower in. The problem is that I also wanted to throw a hand dryer in here and I can't throw a hand dryer in here because it needs two spaces. Oh, you know what? What if I do this here? We got this. We got this. We got this. If we go to build a uh, bathroom, click that one, get our door, put the door. Okay, we can move the door. We're gonna move the door. Okay, here we got this. We got this. We're gonna make as much. We're gonna we're gonna make this work. Can I place that here? Okay, and then door there. Okay, so we've got we've got everything in this room. The problem is we need to get stuff into this room now. Okay, so what we can do here is how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? What if I actually move? 
if we move that there oh oh it's actually working already put that there and then grab our shower that right there look at that oh my gosh and it actually doesn't even look bad because the shower is like off the corner we got our hand dryer we got a sink we, we're perfect we got all that now we can actually go ahead and throw our door back in here and this is the bedroom so let's go in here and we're just gonna get a bed we'll get a deluxe bed why not i think we're only gonna get one unfortunately that's all we can really do um and then oh there's a, a nice bed let's get the nice bed all right they get one bed <laughs> okay is that everything i think that's everything everything looks good okay so we're gonna get out of here now let's go into these and adjust so i only want the basic stuff being made here so let's go ahead and turn these off and then i only want uh basic stuff being stored here because that's all we're gonna be doing anyways so just in case we come across something else which we, it doesn't really matter at this point um just to make sure i like having everything organized like this okay so there's all that everything looks good there now we've got to set up some defenses here you know what we'll come back for the defenses later let's go to our business here and let's get our business going now okay so select business type it's gonna be a laundromat all right so now uh customer capacity so we have different star levels uh, we have up to five stars so top license purchase that gives us a star clean uh we have a cleaner all business hours that'll give us a star accessible toilet all products available and marketing and business on billboard so we'll be able to get to four star no problemo uh and then having four star is is good is very good um okay so let's get into here let's get into building so there's a laundromat and then there's the storeroom so the storeroom is obviously what you think it's for <laughs> it's for storing the goods so we're gonna put a storeroom uh probably that'll probably work there and then the laundromat itself let's do something like this let's go like that and the reason i did that is because we can do some decorative stuff here in a little bit but what we need is we need to make sure that we have everything going here so let's see fast washing machine large washing machine a set of three small washing machines so maybe we'll have a, a little group of uh, a, a we'll have a, a variety if you will now the thing is also i don't want to place these down while i start building because if i place them down now they're going to start decaying over time so i'm going to go ahead and get everything else going first though so we need a staff breakout room uh or a staff a staff yeah a staff breakout room so what we're going to do there is actually we're going to connect it uh we're going to go to build and we're going to connect it like this to our storeroom and I'll go ahead and put our door there and there. And then what we'll do from there is let's do staff toilets. Do a staff toilet there. And then we'll do a customer toilet right here. And then, I guess so. and then we'll get some doors. We'll go ahead and throw a... Wait, where did the door go? We'll throw a door in right there. And then we'll throw a door in right here. And then we'll go ahead and throw in our basic needs for our uh, staff... I'm only gonna do one toilet, one shower. I'm gonna do one of everything. Now, do I need all this? Probably not, but that's okay. And then the uh, customer toilets. We're gonna put a couple in there. Let's see, where's our door right there? Two sinks, hand dryer, that should work, okay. So that all looks fine and dandy. And then let's go into, hold on, let's go to our store. Let's grab some storing stuff. And then let's grab a door. So basically, they'll bring the stuff in here, store it in here. These guys will be doing stuff up here. Um, and actually, let's you know, let's go ahead and get this stuff going. So these guys are going to be working up here. So counter with flap. Pretty sure it's going to go right there. And then we'll go ahead and just do this counter like that. We'll grab a nice corner piece. And grab this one like that so basically our guys can go in here nobody else can and then what we need to do is we're going to need a cash register put one there and there and we will obviously want some soap items that we can sell as well because that's just money and that is that area now 
we gotta get the washing machines and stuff in here now too so let's go ahead and let's do like i said we'll do a variety why not we'll put like one there are these is this a double dryer this is a dryer okay throw that how much is that 120 throw two of those down okay and then let's get some fast ones uh, actually we'll get some large and some fast ones so we'll throw let's see large large do we have a large uh large dryer large large so large dryer large washer why not we'll throw up a a book rack thing right there for for customers to use and enjoy and then let's throw up a couple of these fast ones as well uh we'll put that on this wall right here So three of those and then maybe three of these if we have enough money perfect okay that looks great let's go ahead and throw um some benches in here so people can sit down and let's see do we have a gumball machine in here we don't we do now i want to make sure that we have everything available because that's a star so see we're at three stars right now so if i go to business uh we just need to get a cleaner for all the business hours then we'll be good okay so that looks good uh we do need a door <laughs> We need a main door into our business here so we'll put a door right there and then let's do uh landscaping we'll do some cut grass build silly that oh my gosh it's gonna look so fancy i know and then we'll do red paving actually yeah we'll do red paving right there so they get into the door we'll get some trees in here uh and then let's do let's see hold on um uh, build windows so let's get a big huge window in here maybe maybe right there no it would be this one there that way it's all see-through so look at that we got a window there fantastic let's throw a window there window there we'll make it look all nice and stuff you know and that looks pretty good so now we need to hire people oh wait we didn't do our staff room Completely forgot about the staff breakout room here. All right, so let's do, oh, a counter. Oh, you can put sinks and stuff in here now. That's new. All right, we'll throw a couch, a TV, we'll throw a snack machine. I mean, do we really need to throw, I guess let's, I don't, I don't know if we really need this stuff but oh there's no oven oh microwave gotcha gotcha and then uh, uh we'll get a bin in here too okay perfect all right so that all looks fine and dandy we need to get somebody in here though we gotta get people going now we can you can make money just off of this business alone which is what we're going to be doing to start with so let's go ahead and get some hire a worker we can get up to how many workers can we get here one two let's see we need two people running the front we need a we need four people okay let's go and pause everything here so uh looking for work schedule name okay so this person oh shoot i just realized i messed that up i need to actually um fire you and fire you okay sorry so workers i only need two engineers i need one and cleaners i need one i can't have an i can't do one more why oh it's because i'm broke <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. all right so basically they're gonna be um since we only have two guys they're only, they're gonna be doing both of these so basically they're gonna be running the cash register and actually we'll just have one guy uh loading and unloading as well now we are only open from six to nineteen hundred so they can work the whole day we don't really have to worry about um a schedule for them so let's see schedule one let's see our business is only six to nine so there's no reason so we'll have them here six to nineteen hundred and then we'll do let's duplicate that schedule and then basically we're gonna set it up to where maybe he gets a break there 
and there. We don't want them break on the break at the same time. Um, so this will be shift one. Actually, we'll do we'll do this worker one, worker two, and then let's go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is going to be our cleaner one. They're going to work the whole day. It sucks. I know. It's too bad for them. <laughs> uh, and then actually, hold on. Why can't I delete this one? Oh, I have to press and hold. All right, we'll duplicate that. And this is gonna be engineer one. And the engineer is interesting because we don't need him here all day, every day. However, I would like him here a little bit before, um, during, so it can actually be off like that. And then he can work four on, we do four on four off four on four off that would suck that would be the worst schedule well no, <laughs> that would be the worst schedule ever wouldn't it uh every four hours hey you work every four every other four hours so good luck getting eight eight hours of sleep ever again <laughs> that would be terrible uh but i think you know what we'll do this if we haven't come in at three he'll probably get everything fixed by six o'clock uh and then we'll do one two three four five hours one two three four five two three and then we'll have them off those times okay so that's gonna be engineer oh i like that you can rename these that is so nice all right perfect now i think we are good so let's go ahead and your worker one um let's go ahead and set you up to worker two and then i think we're ready to start making money here um uh, we're gonna open the business and yeah all right business is open so this place is gonna start making money by being a laundromat <laughs> so once people actually start showing up um they'll actually start making money and we'll actually start having a positive uh influx of money because everything's open everything's accessible our workers are just walking around because they don't really know what to do yet because there's nobody here which is fine Come on, let's get somebody in here. Oh, oh, we got somebody. Hey, we got people. Wait, is that our? Oh yeah, no, that's our that's our guy. Look at that, we got money. We made some money. And then there's our engineer right there. He's gonna come in. He's gonna make sure everything's good to go. He's just gonna stand around not doing anything unless things need to be fixed, which is fine. Look at that. People are doing their laundry. Bring them on in. Look at that. Oh, they're using the bathroom. See, he wanted a specific substance that we don't currently have yet, which we'll get, uh, but we don't have yet. So um, I do want to get a cleaner in here, though, like ASAP, because the sooner we get a cleaner in here, the better everything will be because people will complain if it's if it's dirty. So let's see, go to employees, cleaners. I need. Oh, my gosh. Perfect. All right, so you are going to be a uh, cleaner one. All right, good to go. All right, so that's done. We're done. Laundromat's good. We can leave it. We can let it sit. It'll do its thing, and we don't have to do nothing with it anymore right now because it's basically just going to pass and we start making us money. Now, let's go ahead and let's head back over here. Oh, shoot. See, I built stuff that needed an engineer here. Um, I don't know how many, how many people can we hire right now. I think we can only hire... We can't hire that many people. So unfortunately, the game does limit you pretty hard on how many people you can actually um, have working for you at your factory. So if I go to, where is it? I can't actually, I'm trying to figure out where the thing is to see, like to build new plots, because it basically adds two. So like right now, I think we only have four people to work in this area, which is kind of a bummer, but um, it is what it is. So honestly, it's gonna be an engineer, a cleaner, and two workers and that's all we're gonna have so what i'd like to do is we can't actually uh, afford to hire anybody right now because yeah i need two workers an engineer and a cleaner so we're gonna have to just let things play through for a minute and then we're going to have to um oh also shoot you know what i just realized i don't have a door <laughs> so my plan is to have a door here for our employees and then have a door here for our um when we get attacked 
and the reason for that is because what I can do is I can basically make it so that this I can we can make this corridor so nobody goes in it but then we can set a whole bunch of traps down so they're gonna bust in here and then hit a whole bunch of traps and hopefully take themselves out you know what I'm saying so but let's go ahead and let's let let's let things run a little bit oh yeah this is gonna be fun oh you know what I forgot I have some extra items that I can go ahead and sell anything that I picked up I should be able to sell it let me make sure I don't have any other items Oh, see, like, I got that. I can sell this. We can make a little bit of money here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so it's definitely a good thing we had him come in early because look at all of the things that are broken. Everything is, like, broken right now. Holy moly. And I think that's just from sitting overnight. And it looks like he got everything fixed up here. Let me get rid of this. <laughs> All right, so now we're making money again. Thank goodness. Uh, so basically what I want to do is I want to go back over here. And I want to head over here. What I want to do is I want to get one worker in here as quick as possible. Once we get the one worker, he can come in and start growing stuff, start packaging it. Um, the You don't actually have to have people for the mopeds. See, like there's actually people already down there. You don't have to have drivers, which is really nice. So basically, as soon as we hit 500, we hire a worker. Once we get this going out, we'll start making even more money because that's what we need to be selling <laughs> you know what i'm saying so then um but the only problem is as soon as we start selling we're gonna get attacked and i was hoping to have everything like ready to go before the attack but i don't know so what i might actually do is i might actually just stockpile it for a minute and see if we can get like how much we can get stocked up and then like just deliver it all at once see if we can just get a quick flow of cash get everything um uh get everything like reinforced or whatever but i don't know we'll have to see how this goes You know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to sell. I'm going to move. I'm going to grab these. These lights are broken anyways. And I shouldn't have bought them. So we're just going to sell these. That should get me close. And you know what? I'm going to sell one. No, it's only it's only 30 something dollars. It's not really worth it. Mm, we're really close. I think we'll be I think we'll be we'll be able to hit it. OK, well, 463. <laughs> Darn it. One. 500 that's all we need we need to see 500 come on people gotta be doing their laundry perfect okay boom worker looking for work they're gonna do uh what is what do we have for schedule here okay worker one okay good that will work just fine worker one and then you're gonna be doing this and then we're also gonna be having you do that because i believe that means just taking it out to this guy okay so that'll work Actually, no, we're not going to have you store it yet. We're just going to have you start growing it. I think. Okay. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at him go. Make that money, bud. We got to get it cleaner in here ASAP though, because this stuff's going to start getting contaminated. It's not good, but we'll, we'll get there. Once we can start making the money, we'll be, it'll, it, things will start going along a little bit better. Oh, they're like fully grown. Is it time for harvesting? Almost. <gasps> that one's ready. Set it over there to dry. Set that over there to dry. And then this one will be about ready to, to go once he gets these watered. Actually, this is actually working out pretty good. One person handling three things is, is actually about right. Because now he's going to finish these. Now he can go and process these. And then he's going to take it over there, wrap it up, put it on there. Okay, yeah, this is actually working out pretty good. All right, and then we have our first little box on the shelf ready to go. Now, I do have to select where I want these mopeds to go. And like I said, I'm going to let them sit for a minute. Oh, well, maybe I should just take them. Maybe I should just take them over there and just, like, start them. Start them. I, we're going to get attacked, though, if I do that. We definitely need another worker. <laughs> definitely need another worker. So the value on this guy is 117. So like you can see why the money is uh the money is definitely there. You know, what? let's go ahead and let's get our uh this guy is only going to be transporting the basics right now. And you are going to be going to No. You are going to be going here. That's our laundromat. Okay. 
perfect now next question i don't think he's going to yeah so he's not going to take that stuff out there until we say hey start taking it out there should we just start taking it well if we don't he's gonna get <laughs> our employee's not gonna stick around very he's not gonna be around very long if we um if we start selling stuff without having some defenses you know what i'm saying you literally have nothing to do right now you have like things to water bud oh you know what he's probably not working right now i completely forgot about that um Let's see, I might need to go ahead and make another schedule. Worker, worker. Yeah, see, we need 24 hour workers here. So let's go to a new schedule. Factory worker one. One, okay. So we basically need, let's start with having him work all hours and then we'll, uh, we'll get this figured out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to have him work five hours on and take an hour break forever we're just gonna see how it goes it's not gonna go well i don't think he's gonna like it uh factory worker one okay daily cost is 100 that's fine oh he's not gonna be happy oh he's not gonna be happy at all okay the one hour break isn't enough we're gonna have to give him a two hour break so every four it gets two hour break um <laughs> that's just wow well, it's gonna have to be yeah the two hours seems to be about, per about perfect because then they didn't even sleep too uh, then hygiene then yeah, perfect. Okay. So the two hours that 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 schedule seems to work pretty good And then what we'll do is we'll just have another factory worker schedule that is just you know slightly off So there's always somebody working. Okay, so that looks good. We're making some money. I think it's time to go ahead and start deliveries And hopefully we can get this stuff flipped sold and then I can get some defenses in here real fast Because if not this guy's not gonna be around much longer. Just saying So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna select you and you are going to then do this as well so he's gonna go load up all the product on these guys. And they're gonna send it over to my, uh, they're gonna be sending it on over to the laundromat here. So now, if we see, um, yep, there he is. I don't know why this guy's over here. He's gonna go get the package. He's gonna drop it off in here. And then when somebody comes in here requesting it, boom, they're gonna go grab it. And he's going outside to get it instead of going through the doors here. Okay. Yeah, just go walk it right outside. You don't have to worry about nobody seeing anything. And there it is. Oh, so you're dealing, uh, dump down. I knew I was right to send you off. I'm sending a few of my bugs. Oh man. Oh, oh, they're coming from a different way. Hmm. So what used to work is you used to be able to actually go into build mode, go into move, and you used to be able to actually delete the doors. Um, but unfortunately, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> it's like the, it's almost like they figured it out, you know? Um, and if I had enough money, I could probably place, I wonder if I could place something in the way so that way they couldn't even get through. Like, uh, let's see if there's a corridor. Like if I place a trash can, no, that's gonna that's not gonna be in the way enough. I wonder if there's something I can place in the way. I, mean, I could I could place these. I have I have a little bit of money. Okay, let's try that. You just don't go out here, please. Oh, we got him! We got him! We actually survived it! Uh, the only problem is now we need a cleaner. <laughs> and, and honestly, these things need to be moved. Um, because they will, uh, they'll hit my guys. And then we have the same issue. So let's go ahead and just move these over here. And then what we'll do is we'll actually set these bear traps up so that way they can get reset. Okay, so that'll work. Oh, we need a cleaner. You know what? Should we go ahead and hire a cleaner? Oh no, I just spent all my money. <laughs> oh darn. That's okay though. That's all right. We'll be fine because we have now we have product to sell. We should be good. We definitely need to get a cleaner going though, because the cleaner would come over here and take care of. Oh, would you be willing to trade us some of your herbs? Oh yeah, look at that. 
Uh, we are part of a classified government program, except. Okay. I don't know if we'll actually be able to make that or not, but if we can, it's cool. If not, oh well. So now if we go to the map, we actually have a spot here, and he needs... How much does he need? I can't even remember how to see that. I'm trying to see how many they need, but I can't even see how many they need. All right, we're at 700 now. See, now we're actually starting to make some money here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get a cleaner. Now, normally you don't need a cleaner in here because you can get um, some booties that, and then like everybody wears booties and everything's nice and clean. However, we kind of need that. So we're gonna need a cleaner engineer and then another worker. Okay, so there's our cleaner hired. And then, did we have a cleaner over here? Yes, we must have a cleaner over here because there is, we are at four stars. Yeah, we have a cleaner, engineer, and workers. Okay, cool. So let's pan back over here. Are you our, who's our cleaner? Where is our cleaner? You're the cleaner. Why are you outside? Get inside, please. Get inside. Why are you outside? There's so much work to be done inside. Oh, now he's making his way over here. Yeah, and we got some bodies that need cleaned up. Come on, <laughs> let's like take care of them. And you know what? I think it's time to go ahead and hire our other worker. And they're gonna do, let's go ahead and get another schedule. We'll duplicate this one. This is gonna be factory worker too. There we go, perfect. And then let's go to people, workers, factory worker one. And factory F worker two is what we're doing. Okay, perfect. So they're gonna be taking care of this stuff, this stuff. They're gonna load up stuff, fantastic. Uh, let's also go ahead and make sure that they are doing the, oh, you're gonna be doing that and that. And then that and that. Okay, perfect. The only other thing we need is engineer. We get lights in here. Well, if we get, once we get lights in here, we'll get three star. And once three star goes, uh, three star will be worth more. Is nobody gonna clean those up? All right, let's go check out our laundromat. How's our laundromat looking? We have a little bit of product, not a ton. Um, oh, everything's closed right now, so there's that. Okay, so this hallway right here, like I said, um, I we need to go ahead and, and reset this. There was a way to reset it. Triggers and holds enemies in place. Maybe that's a guard thing. You know, that might actually, oh, it might also be an engineer thing, okay. Um, but what I wanna do is I actually wanna see, if we go into build, what we need to do is we actually need to build a different room in here. So we, this is all a corridor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually going to go ahead and just build a storeroom. Um, and it's only going to be like that big. And the reason for that is that way you can throw a door here. Why can't I throw a door there? Um, okay. Well, maybe I have to make it bigger. <laughs> I don't know why I can't throw a door there. Is it big enough now? Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm broke. That's why. Okay, so once we have enough money, we can throw a door here and here. And then we'll uh, actually, you know, let's just, well, yeah. We'll just, we'll just wait. We're at negative $11 right now. We need our, our store to open up. Oh, our engineer just got stuck. Don't do it. Oh my God, he's gonna do it again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stay out of there. No, you're an idiot. I, so I think there's actually a shoes that they can put on that will um, prevent them from going, like setting those off or setting off traps or something. Oh, I can't believe that though. Oh, we have to, we have to check into that for sure. All right, so it is almost nine. Once with nine o'clock hits, we'll start making money again. And oh, we're starting to make some money. Hey, I thought our business were only open from nine. Or is, oh, it's open six. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, look at all the people in here. Holy moly, it's looking good. And guess what? We have enough money now. Now we can throw some doors in here. And we'll throw another door there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this room off limits. Okay, so that right there is a no-no room. <laughs> so basically what I can do, I think, is I can go into new room group, I can modify it, and I can basically make it so that they can go anywhere 
except this room. So save changes and we'll just put okay. And then I can go to people. So workers, all room groups. Nope, they're gonna go to the okay rooms and then okay rooms. And then we'll just do the same thing with the cleaners. They're gonna go with the okay rooms. Now I believe, like I said, I think once we get an engineer, which we could get an engineer right now, I think the engineer can come in here and reset these, but we'll go ahead and wait for that for now. That looks pretty good, okay. Okay, so that should fix everything and they, they shouldn't go in there anymore, but I do need to get these traps reset in order to, uh, to make sure that everything's good. We have enough money. You know what, actually, since we have enough money now, that is gonna give us the ability to, let's go ahead and get ourselves an engineer. Um, and then they can go into, let's, let's keep them, let's keep them into the okay area for now. And then I want them on a new schedule. Actually, they're going to go on one of these schedules. One well, on factory worker one. Perfect. And then what we want to do also is we want to go to build. We want to get our lights back. So if we go ahead and put a light in here and a light in here, that makes everything three star. And then that'll make this three star, which will make everything worth more. And that is huge. Okay, so let's actually, I wanna actually see. Um, engineer. What can he do? Schedule rooms. Work, works automatically based on schedule and rooms assigned. Actually, if I have him go to all rooms... Oh, yeah, going to reset trap. Okay, hold on. Let's see what happens here. Okay, now don't walk across it. Uh... He reset that one, but what happens if he goes to reset this one? He's going to reset another trap. See? Like an idiot! He's going to fix that one. He's gonna fix that one and now he, now he's screwed because he's gonna have to walk across another one okay so we got it we got we're gonna have to turn that room off that's not gonna work that's not gonna work oh my gosh <laughs> no you're gonna go to the okay room okay all right they're all reset we're gonna have to fix that though because there i believe that there is a um, an anti-trap boot like if i go into inventory i think i can go in here so movement speed, movement speed. I think there's a, a shoe that we can get that will uh, stop. Let's see. So this is traps, armor. We don't want gunshot. We want university and then clothing. Prince floor is becoming dirty. That's going to be a huge thing that we're going to get. Um, there should be prevents traps triggering. So that is one that we need to get as well. So. We'll go ahead and do that in the next episode, but that's going to end this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is definitely not fried chicken. 1.0 release. Super exciting stuff. Like I said, I've been playing this game over on the uh, the Members Monday video. So if you want to become a member, you want to see, uh, you want to see those videos, check those out. Um, good times. Real good times. But if you uh, if you want to see more here, leave a comment. Let me know if this video is uh, well enough. If you need enough interest, get enough traction, we'll absolutely continue it. But all kinds of exciting things. It was starting to make some serious money now, so uh, which is really nice. So 1673, but we got research to do now. We definitely got to get some research going. We got to get some shoe upgrades uh, so we can get cleaner sneakers. We got to get some sneakers so that way people won't set off traps. And then, um, yeah, get our defenses and stuff like that up. So hopefully from now on, when we get raided, they'll come through this door, hit a trap, 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 and then we should be fine. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.